We are now under the bridge of death in uh, St. Charles, and we're here to fish for the Gato Fish Gigante. Now, the river is at the perfect height at about 15 and a half, 16 foot. I can drag a big fish right onto shore. It's extremely muddy, but I'm in my boots, so that's perfectly fine. We have a small piece of uh, cut bait of gold eye, and we're gonna throw some worms, and let's see if we can catch this dangerous fish in Missouri with not so sharp teeth. So let's get our stuff out and start fishing. All right, we have a nice piece of moon eye on there, or gold eye, or whatever fish it was. Doesn't really matter, it's a nice piece of flesh. And we're gonna toss to see if we can get a gato fish gigante. We don't actually have to toss that far. I would like it a little bit further than that though. So we're gonna toss it a little bit further than that, and then we're gonna see if we can get the gato fish gigante. We want something over 25 pounds, preferably over 50. I mean, this is 50 pound braid, but 50 pound braid, I have the uh, kind of the tension set, and when I have it all set, it should be able to handle 100 pound fish. So here we go, hopefully we can catch a big gato fish. You know, they say April and March are some of the best times to fish for catfish in Missouri, but uh, they must mean boat fishing because shore fishing has not been great. Definitely not been great. I've caught one decent sized blue at around nine and a half pounds, and then the rest I've caught a bunch of little dinks, like less than a pound or around a pound. So, definitely not the best. Still think summer is probably prime time for fishing from shore, from Missouri, for catfish, but the water should be getting to be warm enough where the fish hit, especially on the Missouri. Maybe like in the ponds, it's not warm enough yet, but in the rivers, it should be warm enough. So hopefully we'll actually get something today and change my luck. I do believe we have a first bite. It doesn't look all that big. Definitely not big enough to take my uh, drag, but definitely looks like a fish. Looks like a fish. Probably just one of those small catfish. Yep, definitely a fish. Got a little bit of fight to him, I guess. Definitely got a bit of fight to him, but not that big. Definitely not that big. I think it's, a, it's probably it's just a small catfish or a drum or something. Definitely not a mighty fish, but a decent one. Actually, maybe not all that decent. Yeah, it's a catfish. Oh no, it's a sturgeon. It's actually a sturgeon. It's a shovel nose. That's interesting. An ancient fish of doom but a small one, a small ancient fish of doom. A good sturgeon. Check this out. It's an ancient fish of doom. The mighty shovel nose sturgeon. These don't really get all that big. I was not expecting one here though, but it is pretty nice. A shovel nose sturgeon. All right, ancient fish of doom. You're going back in the water. They're all ancient and doomy and stuff. But thanks for being my first fish. I was afraid I was gonna skunk entirely today and I thought you were a small gato fish, but you are significantly more awesome than a tiny small gato fish. So you get to go back in the water. I think this is the closest I can get you. There you go, sturgeon. Fun first catch, an ancient fish of doom, otherwise known as a shovel nose sturgeon. I don't think they get that big. Not like the big lake sturgeons we have back in Wisconsin or like the white sturgeons elsewhere, but let's toss out and see if we can get another fish. That is actually the first sturgeon I've actually caught in this location. I've caught tiny little cats. I've actually never caught a drum in this location, which is kind of weird because I catch drum everywhere, but not here. Maybe it's something here scaring them off. I don't see any gar here yet, so I don't know why I wouldn't catch any freshwater drums here, but maybe there's something preventing the drums from coming. I don't know. Guess we'll have to see, but that was an interesting catch. An ancient sturgeon. All right. Casting here isn't working with lures, so we're just gonna switch everything up to worm bait. Well, not everything though. We have to cut bait out, but we're gonna use worm bait now. Another thing is I spend a lot of time in this spot, but I've actually never caught anything above four pounds in this spot. I've seen people catch like 60, 70 pound monsters, but I have not caught anything that big in this spot. So hopefully that will actually change. I think we finally got another one. Yep, that's a fish. That's not a big one though. Maybe it's another sturgeon. I don't, it doesn't feel like it, but you know, I've been wrong before. 
it seems like it's just hampered on the bottom. This does kind of feel like a turtle, actually. It's fighting like one, too. I think it might be a turtle. It's not that strong, but it's heavy. And strong, but not strong, but heavy, just spells turtle all over the place. Don't really want a turtle. Nope, it's a gato fish. Thought it might be a, is it a blue or a channel? No, it's a channel gato fish. It's not a very big one, though. But probably like a pounder. A pound of channel gato fish. Hopefully they're starting to hit. I want a big flathead or a blue, but I'll take a small channel, I guess. Like a one pound channel. Not too bad. Still waiting for something to bite the big cut bait. But channel gato fish. Channel gato fish. I like a 12, 13, 14 incher. Maybe a pound or so, slightly less. But a decent catfish. A good eater, but I'm not going to eat them, so I'm going to let him go. Channel catfish. All right, I'm going to let this guy go. He's uh, not finished gatoing yet in life. Got lucky today. Catch and release person. Otherwise, he would have been food. See you, channel. Well, you put on a bigger hook with a, more, a much bigger glob of worms. I know that uh, in colder weather at the beginning of the season, like right now, they tend to prefer worms more than cut bait. But sometimes you need more worms for bigger fish. We never caught big catfish being cheap on bait. So we're just gonna toss the big worm, big glob of worms out there and hope that a catfish picks it up. We got another bite. This is a bigger hook, but it does not feel big at all. I think it's another small catfish just destroying my baits. Absolutely nuking my bait, but not really being any big. That's a small blue catfish. It's, a, it's not a mighty fish. Definitely a small blue guttlefish. Another species, but still not the monster I'm looking for. That cut bait just will not hit. A blue guttlefish. Ah, another small one. A small blue guttlefish. I mean, at least I'm getting fish, but this is the right species, but wrong size. Right species, wrong size. All right, small blue guttlefish. You get to go because I'm not wanting to eat catfish and uh, just call your far bigger cousins. I need one like 60 times your size and I would be happy. All right, see you, blue gato fish. The dinks are hidden, but I'm not after the dinks. Where are the monsters? The monsters are not seeming to hit. Oh, they're not seeming to hit my cut up gold eye. Not at all. But these dinks, man, they're hitting the worms like crazy, but no monsters. I need monsters. Looks like the big giant ball of worms does attract fish. They're just not the fish I'm looking for. These are all small, small, small fish. Not even enough to basically take any drag. Looking for something that's so much bigger, and this is another blue. So yeah, the small blues are definitely hitting, but what about the big blues? Why are the big blues not hitting? Why is that piece of uh, gold eye not hitting anything? Another small blue catfish. Not what I'm looking for. Not what I'm looking for. Another small blue. Another small blue. We're gonna move to that side of the current because nothing's hitting over there by that pool. So see a small blue catfish. Man, they can actually bite pretty big hooks. So we're gonna move over to the other side of the current and get really big worm bait and see what happens. All right, we're trying the bigger bait over there now. The bigger worm bait. I think the current's a little too strong for my uh, two weight. Should have put a bigger one on, but I don't think you actually need to be that far out in the Missouri to catch big fish. It drops off pretty easily at, at the, off the side. And I think there are flatheads here that probably patrol the shore. So I don't really care if I get a big flathead or a blue. I'd rather take a blue. But um, any big fish is fine for right now. We may have another dink. We may have another dink. Oh, we definitely have another dink on the line. Ah, this one actually feels not as dinky. I think it might be a flathead. Could be a gar, I guess. Could be a turtle. I think it's a little bit bigger. It's not that big, though. It's definitely not that big, but it's not quite as dinky as the other ones still oh no it's uh it's another sturgeon oh it's a good knife for sturgeons it's another sturgeon folks another little sturgeon thing 
Well, let me uh, show you. Yeah, there you go. Another sturgeon. So, uh, yep. Gonna get the sturgeon in and uh, probably throw them back out. So, this obviously is a pretty good place for uh, sturgeons. There you go. A little sturgeon. A little sturgeon. The second sturgeon of the day. But these shovel noses don't get really big. They're not like the giant lakers we have in Wisconsin. See a sturgeon. And there he goes, there he goes. I can't really get back uh, down to the uh, river. It's too muddy, I would sink right in. Otherwise I would, but that's a nice sturgeon. Despite my luck with sturgeons today, which I'm very happy for, I have not caught my primary query, which is the big blue gato fish. So we're gonna keep trying. There's a lot of sturgeons here, which I'm pretty surprised. I guess I'm, I guess scholars don't really eat sturgeons because they're armored as well, but hopefully you can get something really large. If it was like a big lake sturgeon, it'd be awesome, but uh, there, I don't think there's lake sturgeons here. There's only shovel nose, and those don't get very big. So still want a big fish. Fascinating day under Boone Bridge. Still did not get the giant gato fish. However, I did get two sturgeons, and that's a new species I've caught under the bridge. I've caught uh, shell nose before, but not at that particular location. Also caught a couple of catfish dinks, but I wasn't really looking for eaters. I was really looking for the big one. Still did not catch it. I've seen people catch monstrous fish under that bridge. I just have not done it yet. I will try again next time I come back to St. Louis. But this time, uh, got a couple of sturgeons and a couple of dinks. Gonna have to be satisfied with that. Gonna try to go to other places, including Bush Lakes, and some of the other ramps that I've actually had more luck. I would fish more under Boom Bridge, but it's like a mile and a half walk there, so I don't really want to make that walk like every day. The other side of the bridge has not been that good for me. I've never really caught anything on the other side of the bridge. This side of the bridge, under that pillar, there's always some dinks, and in the summer, a lot of gar. The gar aren't quite hitting yet, and I'm thankful for that, but haven't gotten the big blue gato fish either. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Like and subscribe, hit the bell notifications button, and I will see you guys later.